Okay, Monday morning, 16th of September. We've just arrived to farm two. Mustard's looking quite good. That's going to be an overwinter cover crop of mustard there, and then it'll you know, follow with spring beans. Right, Billy's got my tractor. I don't think I done much video in last week. I don't think I done much video in last week. Uh, it, we didn't, had quite a lot of rain at the beginning of last week. That's, I think we're up to about 65 mil for the month for September. So, yeah, that made things quite wet last week. Right, I've got the back window guard for the tractor because we are putting the drill on and we're gonna do uh, we're gonna use the drill as a cultivator all right keep going back like that then more that's it spot on all right he's gonna drag that out the shed we left a little bit of a mess got a little bit of a mess to clean up in the bean store Hopefully we're going to cut the beans this week. The forecast is quite good for this week. And yeah, we'll get finally get harvest finished. Uh, because all we've got left to cut is spring beans. But we're just waiting for them to dry in the field because the moisture is still quite high on them at the moment. I'm just going to stick a quick bit of grease around it and then we'll be ready to go. Headstock, and then the ones on the up and down. Yeah. Just got to watch your head on these following harrows. Yeah. yeah, the beans are looking very dead now. <laughs> That's going to be a dusty job. Oh, I don't think any of them have fallen out yet. Oh, they're still pretty soft. We were going to try them tomorrow afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, hoping to try them, but they're still pretty soft. Billy's just coming up the track right now. I'm going to go and open the gates. We're going to give it a try. Uh, so this was winter wheat down here. It's been moved with the Amazon Cius, cultivated. I expect we should probably let the back tires pressures down a little bit more. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. I'll make this quick. We haven't got much factory. Moving quite a lot of soil. The reason why we're doing this is because this we got one to mix in this chopped straw, and also the Amazon Cius left it a bit ridged, so we just wanted to level off these ridges. You see. See that? We just want to level those ridges off and kill the slugs as well. That's the other thing. We wanted to kill the slugs. There's quite a lot of slug damage on the, or not on that one, on some of the volunteers. There's quite a lot of slug damage. So we run through it with a cultivator. Hopefully it'll kill a load of the slugs and the slug eggs. And then we won't, and then the slugs won't be able to eat the barley. We're going to drill some winter barley in this in about two weeks' time. Instead of baling the straw down here, we chopped it. So now there's quite a bit that needs mixing into the ground. All right, that should keep him quiet for a few hours. I swear if he stays down here all night. What's it, about midday on Monday? He stays down here all night, and you'll have this done by this time tomorrow. And then we can go combining. I've got to go and get the combine ready, and we've also got hedge trimming to do ahead of the cultivator as well, so. It was just easy for Billy to do that job. He can just plod on down here at 10k. There's 170 acres down here to, to cultivate. Right, I've charged my camera up. 
Got the combine out. I'm going to give it a blow down. The last thing we cut with this was spring barley. And uh, yeah, so she's quite messy. Yes, it's going to be a dusty job. Anyway, first thing I was going to do was run her up. And we'll uh, see how much dust comes out of it. a lot of dust. Luckily there was a fair breeze too because it just blew it all straight away. Probably straight in the window of the disco. Do you like my wheels? Painted them myself. Rubbed the silver alloys down, painted them black. I'm really pleased with them. Yeah, that's good. The other reason why I'm blowing it down so thoroughly is because uh, the barley and oats, what I cut um, back at Farm Free last, is full of black grass. So, and this bean ground, what we're going to cut, is all really clean. No black grass at all. So, obviously, we don't want the combine to be dropping any black grass seeds on the ground. Just sticking some diesel in. It does need that blue also. I'll do that in a minute. The header needs a good blow down. I may do that tomorrow when we put it on the combine. Uh, so I can lower it right down and blow the rubbish out the front of the header. Apart from that, I have greased it and checked all the nice sections. So yeah, just needs a quick blow, blow around and that'll be all ready to go. Got the ad blue on the forks. I'm gonna top it up. And then we're pretty much done. We'll quickly look at how Billy's getting on. That's us, look. That's where the combine is. Where's Billy? He's down here. He's just finishing. Well, he's, I think he's just about to start the headland on that big field. And he's got three more to do. We'll get Billy to carry on with that tomorrow. Get Try and get that job done. Laura is actually out head trimming. Uh, who's that? Oh, that's... That's the 155 out collecting some straw. Um, Laura's out hedge cutting in the 155 Command Pro and Simon's out cultivating that field right there. So, oh there it is look. My signal's not very good. Simon's cultivated that field and that field today. Laura's head trimming very slowly. 0.0, .0 kilometers an hour. It's gonna be a cracking evening. I think it's going to be like this nice and sunny for a few days. 24 degrees, they say, Wednesday. I'm going to have to get our blue on my hands now. I'm going up in the world. I just remembered we got a new nozzle for this. I'm going to pick him up anyway. We'll leave the tractor down here tonight by the house and uh, he will carry on tomorrow. Tuesday morning, out walking the dogs. Takes a while to get light these days. Sun will be coming up soon. Come on, boys. Morning, cows. Made it. What is the time? I think it's about 20 to 7. There's a lot of fog about. See over there, like, we drove through quite a lot of fog to get here.
Just sticking some fuel in the tractor. I've actually brought an airline as well so we can give the windows a blow off. Drill looks to all still be in one piece. It's a damp old warning. Definitely won't be doing any bean harvesting for a few hours. Not too bad, we used 160 yesterday afternoon. 30 hectares. Just blowing the windows down with the airline. It's just gonna go around and put a headland mark in all the way around the outside of the field. So he knows where to put it down and lift it up. Where we get a load of black smoke out. a bit smoky. Here they come. going that way. Why aren't they going that way? <laughs> Come by. Come by. <laughs> We're just catching up these ewe lambs. We're moving them to some fresh grass. That's if they'll go in the pen over there. The collie. The collie's not very good. Whoa! Laura's worming the lambs before we moved them. I've been trusted with the crown. <laughs> There's 38 here. These are this year's lambs, and in 2025, the, the ram will be put to them. Is that right? We'll keep them and we'll put the ram to them in 2025. Crayon. Right, I'm in the 155 auto power. We're gonna hook on a grain trailer. And then we're gonna go and try the beans this afternoon. I was using my camera yesterday and now I've managed to lose it again already. Hopefully I'll find it. It must be buried in my discovery somewhere. All right, we'll get this on. The neighbors are out trying to cut their organic linseed. Don't look like it's going very well. I'm blocking the header. Linseed's tough enough to cut at the best of times, let alone organic linseed. It's full of green stuff. I could definitely see him there trying to untangle it out the header. Just wraps around everything. They've got a, uh, a swaffer, so I don't know why they didn't just swap it, row it up, and then, I don't know. There must be a reason for putting it straight through the combine, I guess. Maybe all the linseed would fall out if they rowed it up. Oh, car. We've arrived at farm two. I think it must be about 28 or 22 degrees. It's quite warm out there. Mustard looking well. And I'm not sure if you can see in the mirror, Laura's behind us. She's got the JCB uh, for pushing up beans. So yeah, they're eating the flowers. <laughs> We've had to put harvest on hold for a minute. The sheep are in the churchyard. I think they've jumped over the wall. Oh dear, they're gonna knock the stone over. Yeah, they should be paying you for mowing the grass. Oh yeah, it's only a little gap from the fit through. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Yeah. Right, back to combining. I'm gonna get this header on. We'll see what the moisture is on these beans. Avoiding obstacles at the same time. Headers on. I've just got to get the leaf blower and blow all those seeds out, and then we can go. Well, connect it out. 
It's nice and warm and windy. Perfect conditions. Which is quite good considering that we had 65 mil rain last week and we were worried if we were ever going to get them cut or not. We thought they might just sit there and rot all of them. Alright, we've just been once around the headland. They're always going to do a moisture test. We're going to cut them regardless of the moisture anyway, we got to. Because they're forecasting rain again at the weekend, so we've got to cut them. We haven't got a choice. Just gonna see what's on the floor if we're losing any out of the header. I can't see any, so that's good. Can't see any at all. There's a few shells there. Just unloading the first load into the trailer on the side of the field. Uh, the moisture is 16.9%. We're on the land work now. It's going well, isn't it, Eric? It is averaging 3 point, no that's not average, that's spot rate, 4.26 or 4.7 tons to the hectare and yeah the moisture stayed the same, 16.4 but it's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow so uh, hopefully by the time we finish and uh, we got 200 acres of beans to cut, uh, 80 hectares at two different farms so we'll cut, cut the beans here and then we got to move to farm three so that's the old job Anyway, we started in the field right by the farm, so uh, Billy's just got back from yeah. Billy's just got back from cultivating. He's done that 170 acres. So that's all good. We've got some grass seed to drill tomorrow morning. It's only five hectares. So yeah, we'll I'll probably get him to do that tomorrow morning. Happy days. <laughs> just blast of the air horns. That's one way of getting the attention of the grain carters. It'll take him a minute to get used to driving that tractor again. He's used to command pro now. Also, we're going along at about 7, 8k. I knew this was going to be a dusty job. Can't even see. It's blocking out the sun. We'll go for a high speed run. We're up to about 10k though. She's using a fair bit of power. She's using quite a lot of horsepower to run it all through the straw chopper. Good flying. I don't know how many hectares an hour we're doing, but quite a few. Speed up a little bit. Speed up. <laughs> so Laura's on the tractor. Billy's having a go at driving the combine. Finally, he's waited all harvest. Eric wants to go chase the wildlife. But he's having to go on the combine. Oh, it's quite chilly out here now. The sun's going down. It's chilly. Eric, you stay here. I'm worried the dog's going to run straight in the header. There. Can't see them, they're like marbles. Can't tip the trailers up very high in here. Luckily they come out the back quite easily. The tables have turned now. I'm unloading the combine and Billy's driving it. It seems that if you put your left wheel 
in the combine's right track mark. Ooh. We're not quite close to the header. Maybe it's just to the left of the le the track mark. It goes straight in the middle of the trailer then. But you do just have to drive very close to the header. It's been a long old day. We'll probably pack up soon. Uh, it's coming up to nine o'clock and uh, we'll almost finish this field actually. And the shoot probably won't appreciate us um, starting a new field and um, scaring their partridges. There's loads of game cover all around the, the next field. We've already had loads of partridges flying out of this one, but I haven't hoovered any up yet. Anyway, so yeah, it's been a long day. I probably said this morning it was half past six when I picked Billy up this morning and got him going on the drill. So yeah, it's been a long day, but it's been a good day. Chuck him out! <laughs> Bloody <laughs> Robbie's just got in the cab and a partridge has jumped in. Well, get him out before he poos everywhere. <laughs> he just sat on the steps. Right, we're done. It is... What is the time? Half past nine, so this is not too late. Yeah, my mate Robbie jumped in the cab and there was a partridge on the steps. And he jumped in the... He was in the cab for a minute, running around. Well, I've dropped the header off there. Hopefully it'll stay there and not roll away. The brake is on. But it is also on a bit of a slope. Uh, so yeah, I thought as I'm so close to the yard, I'll go and put the combine in the barn for the night. Last job of the day. Take this home. Billy's bringing the discovery. We need some heating on, it's freezing in there. Oh, yeah. It's cold. 